Welcome back. I thought I would come on and do a very short tutorial demonstration of how I do these watercolor backgrounds that I put in my composition notebook journal to use for my actual writing, my actual journaling. This has become a huge part of my composition notebook journal practice. I do these flip throughs, but I usually have these covered up quite a bit because of my private journaling. I thought, hey, why not? We'll just do one real quick because I try to do these at night so they can be drying overnight. I will show you these are just blank pages. There's no gesso, no medium, nothing. These are the journals that are made in Vietnam. That's the key to this paper. It holds water like nobody's business. I have a spray bottle with water. I like to spray down my paper a little bit to help the paint move. This is my watercolor palette that's mostly Daniel Smith watercolors. There are also a few other brands. I think I've got a couple of Winsor & Newton watercolors, and then there's Jane Davenport watercolors that are, I'm gonna try to situate this a little bit. The Jane Davenport, I have a couple of Jane Davenport palettes. And so I just took them out, the colors that I like to use. I took them out of this one also. Oops, excuse me. One of these is Brights. This is the neutral palette. But I just took out my favorite colors that I found myself going to over and over again and added them to this watercolor palette. I bought this palette just on Amazon. And I've been collecting Daniel Smith watercolors for a while. They're expensive, but if you'll start with just some basics and add to your palette as you go, they last for a long time. So that's what we're gonna use. And then I also have some of the Fine Tech metallic watercolors that I like to also use just kind of as an accent. As far as brushes, it, again, good brushes are an investment. I have this set of black velvet, silver black velvet brushes that I bought together as a set. When I bought them, probably six or seven years ago, I think I paid like 40 or $50, I, I, I think, but I'm not sure what they are now. I will link all of this, but I'm just telling you, when you start investing in good art supplies, it is an investment. I also have this Princeton Neptune that I recently bought. I love a good soft moppy brush to do this particular style of watercolor smooshing. That is a very technical term that we're going with, smooshing. I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit so you can maybe see the watercolors a little better. Whatever my mood is for that day is the color that I go with. And I load up my brush with paint and I literally just start dropping in color. And I, you can see this is a, I'm doing this sort of a wet on wet. I just put some pigment I don't really worry if it mixes with other things. And I put pigment down. I keep adding, keep layering as I feel inclined. And then I will go into another color. Let's do, these are pretty dirty, looks like. But that's okay. Not gonna worry too much about that. And then we're gonna just drop some more color in. And you'll see they just start blending together. They will pull up. And I don't mind that so much when they dry. They look really nice. Over here, there's not any water. So I'm just gonna kinda roll my brush around. Okay, and 
Let's go, let's do some more vibrant. Let's do some red. Let's do this kind of a, this has got a very orange undertone to it, which I like. And you just keep adding color, smushing it around, add some more water if you want. I don't worry about it getting on other pages. I have some under paper here, so if it gets on that under paper, it's not gonna hurt anything. Let's go back into this pink and drop some more in. This, I think, is the color, I think this is a Winsor Newton, I think it's like a quinacridone rose, maybe? I'm not sure, I can't remember, I'd have to look at the tube. But look at that. See how that purple and pink, I had a little bit of purple in one of these pots of paint and so it kind of blended out and I love this. This looks great. So I'm gonna leave this I, and even if I don't get everything covered, that's okay. I'm gonna show you another little trick that I do sometimes. I keep some isopropyl alcohol here and I'm just gonna dip in another brush just a little brush here and we're just gonna splatter some alcohol and that resists the paint and when it dries it is gonna look so cool so there's that I will film this I'll come back in and film this in the morning so you can see what it looks like. I'm gonna add some gold. Let's get a different brush here. I'm gonna show you how I splatter around. This Fine Tech watercolor takes a, takes a bit to kind of get that worked, but I'm gonna splatter in some gold. Doing this to me is very meditative. It's just very satisfying. It's, an, it's a no-brainer. You don't have to think, but it just leaves these beautiful pages that I love to write on. So that's it. I'm gonna leave this, I'm gonna go to sleep, and in the morning, I'll film and show you what it looks like. Good morning. I'm back at my beautiful watercolor journal page that we painted and I left right here my watercolors I left out so they could dry I can now put them away and I am left with this really surprisingly beautiful page <laughs> obviously when I did this there was no plan there was no real rhyme or reason I intuitively stuck my Paintbrush in that pink to start, went beside it, picked up a little bit of that purple you see, went to this orange that was a little bit dirty. It had some other stuff in it. Went to this red, ended with this pink again, added the alcohol, which made these really cool patterns, and then topped it off with the always beautiful metallic splatters, which I pretty much put in everything that I watercolor. This was the one that I had done the day before. This is how you do your backgrounds. If you want to do some beautiful composition notebook, watercolor backgrounds for your writing, like I do, there's just something way more inviting to me to write on this than just this blank page. So now I have these beautiful crinkly pages. You can see there is no bleed through. You saw how much water was on here. And this, these composition notebooks are just magical. So thank you for watching. I hope you try this. I'm gonna link the things that I used if you feel inclined to 
purchase those through my affiliates. Feel free. If not, you can find these on Amazon. You can find them on Blick, all of the products. And you can find these at your local <laughs> um, big box store. I get these Wexford from Walgreens, my local Walgreens. And they have not failed me yet. Thank you.